couple of Wasserman League girls basketball teams were hoping for a spot in the Class C championship game when they played on Wednesday in the new gym at Rensselaer High School. Greenwich was up against number one seed Voorheesville in one semifinal. The Witches fell behind early, and it didn't help that Anissa Anizuski was hobbled by an injury in the opening moments of the game. The Witches caught up in the second quarter, but fell behind in the second half. They had trouble hitting shots at the end, and a late comeback came up short in a 50-46 loss. Cambridge, the third seed in the tournament, took on seventh-seeded Burn Knox, which had upset Argyle in the quarterfinals. The Indians knew they were in for a physical game against a bigger Burn Knox team, and they'd have to be aggressive. Both teams also liked the fast break. We watched the game in um, Argyle when they played Argyle, and they looked like a really physical team, and they were really fast getting up the court, which is the same thing we try to do during our games. So we knew it was going to be really hard to try and figure out something different to do to beat them, because if they want up-tempo and we want up-tempo, then it's going to be like clashing the entire game. Cambridge pulled ahead by outscoring Burn Knox 24-13 in the second quarter. The half ended with Molly Lauver hitting a three-pointer for a 13-point lead. <laughs> Lauver scored 14 points and had 11 rebounds. Sarah Taroni finished with 14 points, going six for six from the free throw line. Alexis Case was the Indians' leading scorer with 16 points including this bucket off a fast break in the first half. Sandy Andrew contributed five points and nine rebounds. It added up to a 57-47 victory, and Cambridge, the school that went all the way to the state semifinals in soccer, is added again in a different sport. The Indians will take on Voorheesville in the Class C title game on Saturday at Hudson Valley Community College.